I have a simple ask. I say, help us to change the world and make it a little bit better. So we made Medicine Mondial a virtual organisation. There's only one paid employee, but there are about 200 people around the world who help us to do what we do uh, using clever scientists. We often come up with innovative technologies that nobody else has thought about. So we get specialists in a particular area. About five million children die a year of low birth weight uh, because they don't have access to uh, affordable incubators. And those incubators they do have um, are not suitable for use in developing countries. They're, they're what we make for us. And they weren't designed to be used in a very hostile environment in developing country. In fact, the two most common things you see in a hospital anti-ward uh, or a corridor is a dead body waiting to be collected by their relatives and also a dead incubator pushed in a corner. One of the things I'd like to do, uh, I'd like uh, people to be aware of is that we, we can do great things out of New Zealand and we can change the world. To do that though we do need, we can get most things for free in terms of people volunteering their time. When you actually start to build incubators you need real hard cash. So what we're trying to do is raise two million dollars to get commercial production underway. Sam's going to find it quite challenging to be confronted with um, you know, it's, death is um, a commonplace event in uh, developing countries like Nepal. He's got one wild card and that is that in, in Nepal it's such a vibrant cacophony of um, three-dimensional mayhem that he doesn't have to look very far for the, the colour and the vibrancy. Um, but on the other side of the coin, uh, death is just around the corner and I hope that he's going to get um, something really magical out of it. I think what really made me want to contact Sir Ray when I saw him was just that he embodied a kind of spirit of seeing a big problem and not just thinking it was too big, you know, just leave it be, it'll never be changed. He actually saw practical avenues to make really big uh, changes to the world. I think one of the cool things about Medicine Mondial is they, they're all about uh, telling New Zealanders that we can make a difference and I think I was inspired when I saw Sir Ray Avery doing what he does and I think in any way if someone sees just this project as a whole and thinks well that's quite cool, you know, that might inspire them to go kind of do whatever they can to just make a little difference.